I am going to talk about the exponential backup algorithm. This algorithm is used in retry logic. So this algorithm suggests that uh, retrace the records exponentially. Uh, so increasing the waiting time between the retries up to a maximum number of retries. Um, for example, they have two applications, uh, consumer and provider. So consumer applications calls the provider applications to perform an operations. So provider application returns a successful error code or failure error code. Uh, consumer application uh, can retry the same request if it receives a failure uh, error record. So uh, in some scenario, uh, provider applications uh, is having some issues. So it returns with this failure error code. So provider applications can take some time to recover uh, to the normal state. Uh, in, during the time, if the consumer applications uh, sends the same message, uh, same request again to the provider application, then it's not going to succeed. It's always going to return the same uh, er er error code. To uh, to fix those kind of to handle those kind of issues, we can follow this exponential backup algorithm techniques. So this technique suggests that retrace requests exponentially. Uh, so increasing the waiting time between retries up to a maximum number of retries. For example, in our case, uh, the maximum number of retries is as three. We, we, we can assume it as three. So uh, for the first time, consumer application calls the uh, provider applications to perform an operations and then it receives an error code. So, so the retry is zero right now. So you increase the retry as one. So then it will wait for 100 milliseconds before it retries the same request and then provide applications response with the same error code. So now the retrace at the consumer application is just one. Uh, now we increment it to two. So the consumer application is going to wait for 200 milliseconds. So after 200 milliseconds, it's going to retry the same request. And if it receives the same error, error code again, now we increment the retraces from two to, uh, from two to three. And now we are going to wait for 300 milliseconds. Before, retry, before we retry the same request before. And uh, if it receives the same error code, then consumer applications already reaches the maximum uh, number of retry attempts. So it's not going to retry the same request and it's going to fail the request. So this is in this way, uh, we can handle the retry, uh, retry, uh, retry mechanism properly. So let me show an example here, pseudocode example here. So uh, AWS SDK, uh, 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 already have all these mechanisms implemented, uh, but like if you implement this kind of retail logic in your side, then you can follow this approach here. So here is an so they are just going to talk about some asynchronous operation here, so that they are going to do some asynchronous operations, and the in, in the initialize the retries are zero here, so they will wait for two to the power of uh, retry is zero here, two to the power of zero into 100. So it will be like a two uh, two to the power of zero is one, one into 100, it will be 100 milliseconds. So they are going to wait for 100 milliseconds and then after 100 milliseconds, they will get the status of the asynchronous operations. If the status is success, then they will just uh, change this flag as false, retry flag as false. And if the status is not ready throttle, then they, they will just change this flag as true. And if some error happened, then they do not need to call that API. So they're just going to change the retry uh, flag as false. And then they're going to increment the retries as one here because we have not received a success for feedback, success status here. So we have to increase the number of retries and uh, assume that maximum retries is three. So the, the retries is one right now. So, so this condition succeeds. So we are going to uh, run this loop. So the next time, so the retries is one. To, so two to the power of one is like a, uh, is like a one. So two to the power of one is two, 200 into 100, 200 millisecond. So we are going to wait for 200 milliseconds and after the wait is over, then we'll be getting the status and then we will do all these things again. And if the status is not succeeded, then we are, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, uh, increase the, uh, increment the retrace here. So it will be the retrace like a, 
uh, 1 plus 1 2 so the rate raises 2 here so we'll just go back here and then we will be just uh, checking the same thing we will be waiting for um, this uh, this much amount of time so it will be 2 to the power of 2 400 so 400 into 100 400 milliseconds um, so we will be uh, waiting for 400 milliseconds and then we will do all these things and uh, in this way so and so in this way we will be uh, uh, we will be handling all the rate logic here um, thank you I will uh, leave this link in the descriptions and uh, if you have any questions or feedback please uh, share, uh, share it thank you